There are a total of 20 assault rifles in Call of Duty Mobile and each one of them came out with dozens of skins. Let's see all the 20 assault rifles and the basic skin of each one of them. We're gonna start with the Type 25. Undoubtedly the Type 25's basic skin is the Type 25 Steel Blue. When you are going to use Type 25 for long ranges, it's pretty hard to use without a red dot, even for the legendaries. However, with this Type 25 Steel Blue, that is not a problem because you have inbuilt iron sight that has the cave of shooting so far accurately there is no other skin that can be compared with the steel blue and steel blue holds at number one position for type 25 at any given day next if you talk about the m16 skins unfortunately there are not much of skins for m16 with different geometries however there is this m16 valentine skin which has a different iron sight and it is better than the other m16 iron sights because the thickness of the m16 valentine is less therefore you are going to get a better view angle when you are using the m16 valentine and it is the best skin for m16 moving on to the ak117 we have three legendaries and wide range of epics but what took my attention is the ak117 nightwing skins they are so much better because of the inbuilt red dot type of iron sight and it is extremely accurate as well we have the ak117 r toxin which is also really good but if we compare the nightwing and the r toxin r toxin's red dot is really small therefore i will consider the Nightwing has the best skin. You guys already know what is the best AK-47 skin by now. That is undoubtedly the AK-47 Frostbrand skin which came out with inbuilt red dot type iron sight. You can especially use this in battle royale and make the gun a lot more stable with another attachment. So there is no need of using red dot or any other optic attachments with the AK-47 Frostbrand. When we go to the SM-10, there were two blueprints that are very close to be the best skin. They are the SM-10 black and gold and the asm10 abyssal legend however abyssal legend wins the competition because it has less kick compared to the asm10 black and gold the iron sight is also very clear than all the other asm10 skins there are a number of good asm10 epics but none of them can top this abyssal legend skin M4 is probably the very first weapon you have used in Call of Duty Mobile. When it comes to M4 skins, there are a wide range of skins just like the AK-117. I tried all of them and I found out that the M4 Minotaur skin is the most comfortable one to use out of all of them. Simply because it has less kick plus even though there are visible spikes, they do not obstruct your view when you are shooting and they are very stable. They don't kick so much. Therefore, the M4 Minotaur skin is really accurate. It's a shame that we don't have M4 Legendary with a really good iron sight. The BK-57 is another weapon that has no good skins except for the legendaries. The legendary skins are decent but the recently released Make Tiger skin is the best skin for the BK-57. The pointer of the iron sight is really accurate in this BK-57 epic skin. Therefore you can shoot so far without the need of having an optic attachment. Moving on to the LK24, you guys already know the best LK24 skin is the legendary LK24 Idol Star. It has the best iron sight out of them all LK24 skins as well as it's a reactive skin and the kill effect is also really amazing. We will never get a LK24 that is better than the LK24 Idol Star, I'm pretty sure about that. The ICR1 also has two legendaries and wide range of epic blueprints. But my best pick out of them all is the ICR1 geometry skin. We all know geometry skins are really good, but this ICR1's pointer is really accurate in any range. And also I'm a big fan of geometry skins and sometimes not having visual effects of legendaries really helps us to get some more kills. When you go to the Man of War, we have a legendary skin that has really good iron sights compared to the other skins. However, the Man of War Red Action is the best skin for me. We are also going to get a Man of War skin this season, which will definitely be the best skin for the Man of War when it is released. But for now, the Man of War Red Action is the best Man of War skin in the game. Almost all the KN44 skins have the same iron sight, and that is really depressing. However, there is this one skin that has a different iron sight which is the KN44 black and gold. This iron sight is very comfortable compared to the other iron sights. I'm not saying KN44 iron sight is bad. Just by comparing all the other skins we have, I think the black and gold is the best skin out of them all. The HBR A3 Swarm is the 
only skin for HPR that has a drastically different iron sight and it is extremely accurate in long ranges as well. For that reason, the HPR A3 Swarm skin is the best skin for the HPR A3. Even though we have legendary for the HVK30, I found out that the HVK30 Smart Rifle is the most accurate blueprint for the HVK30. It is extremely accurate in longer ranges and also the iron sight gives you a wide view angle. It's crazy that these great skins are sometimes better than the legendary skins. The DRH Cyber Security is the only DRH skin which has an inbuilt red dot. The sight is extremely accurate as well. You will not miss your target even if your enemy moves sideways. That is the reason why DRH Cyber Security is the best DRH skin in the game right now. No matter how many Peacekeeper skins we get, the Mythic Peacekeeper Artifact is indeed the best skin for the Peacekeeper. The Battle Pass skin, Peacekeeper, Spine Rattle is also a really close call. If we compare the kick of each of these iron sights, I prefer the Peacekeeper Artifact over the Spine Rattle skin. Also this skin has some cool kill effects too. The legendary FR556 skin is really good for the FR556 because it has a different iron sight. However, the FR556 Smart Rifle has the better iron sight. It is so much comfortable comfortable to use the FR556 smart rifle than the legendary one. Therefore the best skin for the FR556 is definitely the smart rifle skin. Almost all the epic casual skins are same when it comes to iron sight and the geometry. However, the only different ASL epic skin we have is the red action ASL skin. But still, it can't beat the mythic casual double edge skin. For some reason, it feels so accurate in longer ranges compared to the other ASL skins, especially compared to the red action one. And also, the Doctor Strange kill effect is a plus. Almost all the Epic CR56 has the same iron sight, just like the ASL. However, the legendary CR56 Red Death has a different iron sight, which is better than all the other iron sights. Therefore, I consider that as the best CR56 skin. By now, you guys already know when it comes to M13, the best is the M13 Morning Star. It has an inbuilt red dot, which makes it extremely accurate in long ranges. The M13 Epic skins we already have have the same geometry of the base weapon. Therefore, there is nothing special about other blueprints at all. The final assault rifle we have is the Swordfish and there is nothing surprising about this because out of all the Swordfish skins we have in the game, the Legendary Swordfish has the best sight because the thickness of the Legendary Swordfish is very less compared to the other Swordfish skins. When we compare all the Epics and the Legendary Swordfish, they look similar but when you aim down the sights, you will notice the Legendary Swordfish has better view angle and also very small aim which is very precise compared to the other Swordfish skins. And there you have it guys, all the 20 assault rifles and the best skin of each one of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon, watch my other videos and I will see you guys in the next one.